Hello and welcome back to Movies Reloaded. Today I am going to explain the first episode of the first season of the Black Mirror series titled The National Anthem. Spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. The episode begins in a dark room where we see a couple sleeping while a cell phone rings persistently. But since nobody hears it vibrating on silent mode, the caller insists, and now it is the landline phone that rings. The man, Michael, wakes up and picks up the phone. It seems like the news he hears is not quite good since his face stiffens up. His wife wakes up as well and asks him what happened when he hangs up the phone, and Michael replies that something has happened with Princess Susanna. His wife asks him if Susanna is okay, but Michael tells her he is not sure before he gets up to leave the room. Right next, Michael is taken to a room by his executives and they show him a video that they have received, which depicts Susanna being tied up and speaking with someone outside of the video's frame. Susanna and her captor have a brief chat and what appears to be a male voice instructs her to turn towards the monitor and read the cards. Susanna does as instructed and she reads a message, beginning with a quick introduction of herself and stating that she is Princess Susanna, before mentioning that she is being kept in a place that they cannot find by a person they cannot trace. Then she addresses Michael, who we now learn is the Prime Minister of the country, and proclaims that her life depends on him from now on. And if he does not do exactly what he is asked to do by today's evening, she will be executed. Michael's men stop the video and inform him that this is Princess Susanna indeed, and not an imposter. She was kidnapped the last night when she was returning from the party of an old college friend. Michael asks if she has some security along with her, and his board informs him that she had two men with her, but they were neutralised and they are still unconscious. Michael tries to speculate on what the kidnappers want, and his advisor Julian speaks rather mystically, and says that the kidnappers' demands are real. Michael is also informed that the demand is something very personal, and that it relates to him, which makes him really angry and impatient, ordering them to play the next part of the video. His guard plays the rest of the video, and we now see Susanna reading the rest of the message, which states the kidnappers' peculiar demand. Although she is having a hard time reading it, she exclaims that the kidnappers want Michael to have sexual intercourse with a pig on live television on 4pm this evening. Julian stops the video and says that the rest is just technical specifications for the broadcasting. Michael is clearly shocked and announces that there is no way he is going to have intercourse with an animal, looking at the people in the room one by one, requesting their opinion. Of course, all of them agree with him, but Julian says they have no channel of communication with the kidnappers, thus there is no way to negotiate with them. Michael instructs his board to form a small and effective team to search for Susanna, because he doesn't want this incident to go public, but it is already too late, since Julian mentions that the video they showed him was uploaded on YouTube, and the news websites and magazines have already got that video, along with thousands of users. However, they are doing their best to download all the videos from the internet, even though there are more of them popping up, and there is a governmental order to not reproduce the video or the incident on TV. Although the channels obey the order initially, hell breaks loose moments later, and every major channel starts reproducing the incident and talking about it. Michael's people try to prevent that from happening, but they can't really do much, which forces them to come up with a backup idea. They assign Agent Cullet to hire Noel, an awarded special effects expert, and lead him to a studio, asking him to set up a plan of action on how to make things look like the Prime Minister is having intercourse with a pig. Noel's first reaction is to burst into laughs, but the agent is very serious and asks him to make things work. Meanwhile, Michael is having a meeting with his board, while we also see various reactions of everyday people that are watching the news. Julian tells Michael that the police has made many arrests and there are many people being interrogated at this moment, but that does not comfort Michael since they do not have a valid lead. Their meeting is interrupted by Michael's wife, who wants to have a private conversation with her husband. Although Michael tries to calm her down, she is very worried about the possibility of everything going wrong and asks him what he will do if they do not get to the kidnappers in time. Michael tries to lie to her, but his wife doesn't fall for it, emphasising that people like seeing others being humiliated and they are already making pictures in their heads about her husband having intercourse with a pig. Eventually his wife lets him know that she loves him, but their moment is ruined when a secretary knocks on the door and informs Michael that the Queen herself is on the line and wants to talk to him. When he is done talking with the Queen, there is a positive turn in the case, since a female technical analyst 
has found that the video that was originally uploaded on YouTube was 57 megabytes in size before compression, and she ran an algorithm which scanned the uploads on the platform in size rate that would make sense. She was able to find that the video was uploaded from an abandoned campus at approximately 3 o'clock in the middle of the night, and she also got a satellite image of that specified location, where they're able to see an apartment that had its lights on. Julian immediately orders his people to prepare a SWAT team with helmets and cameras so they can watch the operation unfolding, a fact that has made Michael very happy. In the meantime, an adult film star Rod arrives at the studio where Noel is setting up his staged intercourse scene. Rod is a pretty joyful character, but Agent Cullet cuts directly to the chase and tells him to change his clothes and also wear a green mask on his head, which will assist Noel into replacing Rod's head and make it look like he is the Prime Minister. While the SWAT team has reached the campus, a member of the board, Tom, has a private chat with Michael and tells him that he has prepared two different statements, in case of which scenario will eventually play out. He also mentions that the people are feeling raged about this situation but not against him, concluding that if everything goes sideways and the kidnappers kill Susanna, Michael will have no blood on his hands. The tables will turn again when a TV channel receives a package with a case and a USB flash drive in it. The case contains one of Susanna's fingers, which has obviously been cut, and the USB drive contains video proof, showing the kidnapper cutting Susanna's finger. Along with it goes a written message which states that the Prime Minister is trying to break the rules by using an adult film actor to replace him. When that video goes public, Michael is outraged and he turns against Alex, the female advisor that came up with the plan of the visual effects studio. She tries to explain that somebody recognised Rod and tweeted a picture of him, which helped the internet users make the connection about her plan. But that is not the end of it, since Tom mentions that the public opinion is now turning against Michael for trying to stage the demand, because that only caused Princess Susanna to suffer, although statistics indicated that only a small percentage of people desired the Prime Minister to fill the demands. There is now a shift, and most people consider it necessary for Michael to do as the kidnappers have instructed. Michael is gradually losing his temper, and he orders the SWAT team to move in. The team does just that, but they are only able to find a mannequin sitting on a chair, which means that they have been played and distracted by the kidnappers. At the same time, Malika, a journalist and reporter, had acquired some information and also visited the campus, trying to get some leads and some shots. However, she gets some shots quite literally, since the SWAT team doesn't initially recognise her, and they shoot her near the ankle. Alex proclaims that they are running out of time, but Michael, feeling defeated and out of options, refuses to discuss anything with her or with Julian, and takes some time on his own. Alex and Tom walk in the room with him, and Alex tries to convince him that this has to happen. Michael argues that he is not going to do it, and that Princess Susanna is probably already dead already. But Alex opposes him by saying that if Susanna is alive, but they kill her afterwards and upload the video because the Prime Minister didn't meet their demands, he will be despised by the whole population for choosing to prevent his own humiliation instead of saving Susanna's life. The whole country will hate him and his party will not be able to support him, which means that he and his family will physically be in danger. Running out of options, Michael is taken to the studios where he is going to meet the demands of the kidnappers and have sexual intercourse with the pig. His wife gives him a call on the way, but his mind lacks clarity and he does not answer his phone. The world is expecting to view the event in a mixture of shock and sick excitement, while Alex asks Agent Cullet if the pig is sedated and ready. An official announcement plays across the whole country which informs the people about what is going to happen, as well as that any reproduction or recording of the broadcast is illegal. A tone plays to indicate the beginning of the broadcast and Michael walks toward the room, where the pig is waiting for him. He swallows a pill to help him do what he has to do, and Alex advises him to take as much time as he needs, but follow the kidnappers' instructions. Michael walks into the room and feels really bitter when he sees the pig. He addresses the camera and wishes that this act will bring Susanna back safe, also adding that he loves his wife and asks for God's forgiveness. A series of shots present us with a number of reactions that people are having while watching, but at the same time, we get some closure and see that Princess Susanna is left to go whereas her kidnapper commits the unthinkable. Susanna doesn't remember much, but we see that the cut finger belonged to the kidnapper himself. Eventually, this whole situation has been about making a statement. Since the kidnapper left Susanna free to go, 
half an hour before the broadcast started. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.